Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to add an additional SMTP email address to the user mailbox. Normally, when we, you know, synchronize the user account to from on-premise to Office 365 through the, you know, AD connector in hybrid environment, and we assign the license to this account, this user, then there is a mailbox created for this user, like Bob Winter. If I go there, I see this, uh, the mailbox, user mailbox is created for him. And if we want to add additional email address, you know, which if we click manage email address types and then click add email address type, we put the SMTP email address, we put a like, you know, uh, for example, brother.winter, we put the domain as ccq2020.com.au. If we click OK, I just want to add this other email address. This is a hybrid environment, so if I click OK, and then I want to click the, you know, Save. We get this error message. We get this error message because this user ID was created on premise, you know, uh, Active Directory in on premise. Then if we needed to add an additional email address, you know, SMTP email address for the user, we needed to go to on premise Active Directory and synchronize to the Office 365. So let's just close this one. So before we do anything else, I just show you, uh, if we go to the add your active directory console, and then we go to the users, or users. You see the bubble window on-premise is in on-premise. So we need to go back to the you know, on um, premise active directory, let's go to the, you know, the domain controller, if we go there, that's the domain controller, we see, we want to open the active directory users and the computers console, and then I open it now, and then I can make a view menu. I want to tick the advanced features, then I go to the, you know, internal users OU and users OU, I find this user is Bob, Bob Winter. I double click to open this one. And then in the attribute editor, I want to add an additional SMTP address. Then we we'll just go there, we we'll go to the Proxy, proxy addresses, click edit. So first thing I want to add to the, you know, the default email address is uh, if you want this email address to be default email address, we use the capital, we just use SMTP colon Bob, Bob Winter at CCQ. 2020.com.au. I add this one as default email address, and then I add another email address. So let's see. I add a snail case SMTP colon. I put a browser. Dot winter at ccq2020.com.au. So I just click add now. So now you see I have two email addresses. One is the default email address, bobo.winter at ccq2020.com.au. And also I add another one. No case SMTP colon brother.winter at ccq2020.com.au. This capital means is the default email address. So let me just click OK, click Apply, click OK again. So Bob Winter has uh, added my email address. Let me do the sync. 
Normally they are desync where I do every half an hour. I want to synchronize that immediately. I just run this command. Let's run sync again. So sync successfully. So let's go to the cloud admin center. If we go there, go to exchange admin center, we just refresh. Refresh again. Bob Winter. Go to the email address. Still synchronize the service. See, refresh. The brother dot winter at CCQ twenty twenty should show. You know, a few minutes later, just uh, do it. Go there. We can see now the blood dot winter at CCQ twenty twenty dot com dot there is showing up now. So we add this, you know. SMTP email address to this user mailbox successfully. Thank you. Thanks for.